Do you think sport among children and middle-aged people are different? Very much so. While the former are big on exciting team sports that they can play with their friends, such as soccer or basketball, the latter usually prefer individual games like golf, which require concentration and flexibility. What interesting activities do young people like? Generally speaking, young generations seem to gravitate towards activities that are a bit daring, such as outdoor adventures or extreme sports. Some examples are bungee jumping or zip lining, to name a few. The reason is probably that those endeavors give them an adrenaline rush. Making them feel invincible, which is a pretty great feeling to have, if you ask me. Should young people take risks in those activities? To some extent, yes. I believe it could be hugely beneficial if men and women get out of their comfort zone and challenge themselves once in a while. Not only can they gain new experience. But it also helps build character and improve one's strength and endurance. Should the government ban dangerous recreational activities? I think a blanket ban on all sports or pastimes deemed riskier than usual is probably not necessary. If it were up to me, I would advise the government to assemble a panel of professional trainers and athletes to help determine. The levels of danger involved in each individual activity, so they can prohibit the ones that are excessively harmful, while letting citizens enjoy those that might be thrilling but totally safe.